I have a stack of photographs taken in the 1960s of my dad as a young man. He looked like this. He dressed in the fashions of the day, posed in a semi-sophisticated air, drove a 57 Studebaker, and lived in this super-modern bachelor pad house that he had designed. He was a physicist in the era when mainstream news would still regularly do stories on science, and so I also have a few magazine articles where they wrote about his perception experiments, and others where he's working on computers the size of a refrigerator. There are also photos of a rather endless array of girls he dated, ending with my mom when she was still in her wig phase and 17 years his junior. When I was a kid, me and my dad never talked much at all. My two older brothers remember that he played with them a bit, but by the time I came along, he was pretty well preoccupied with his physics, and my main memory of him is him pacing around the kitchen and that you could go in and fix a bowl of cereal without him saying a word or even looking up from his books. It's not that he was negligent, he just had a very limited number of ways of relating to people. He would generally not get involved in the conversation at meals, but if you got him going, the dinner table would turn into an academic lecture about the theory of gravitation. That basically seemed to be his attitude, that talk was meant to be grand and important, and was by and large unnecessary unless the ideas discussed would ultimately lead to a Nobel Prize. He did try in his own way here and there. I remember when I was about 15, I grew my hair long and was making a futile attempt to look like a badass, and he sat me down for a heart-to-heart -heart talk about drugs. He said, Don't drink alcohol. And I said, Okay. And he said, And do not smoke marijuana. And I said, All right. And then he said, And do not inject heroin. And I said, No problem. And that was the end of our heart-to-heart -heart talk about drugs. When I went to college and moved out of my parents' house, I wound up taking some of his bachelor furniture with me. It was stuff that I had always seen around the house and had never taken much notice of, but when it was mine, I started to think that it looked sort of neat. After I was out on my own, I would visit home from time to time and try to ask him about what he was like when he was younger. He would say that he was very independent and an outsider in his field, but would never go into an awful lot of detail. Afterwards, I would go through the storage boxes in the basement and look through his old photos and papers and try to put together a picture for myself. In the last few years, though, I started doing something that I don't fully understand. I started going to a lot of diners that looked like ones that he would have gone to and started putting tons of black pepper on everything like he does. I also found myself going to a lot of garage sales and secondhand shops looking for things 40 years old that looked like the sort of things that he would have owned. Last year, I also found a cardigan sweater and a pair of pants like his in a thrift store, and to put it bluntly, I'm starting to look like an urban sub-hipster who is auditioning for the lead role in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. These days, when I try to talk to him and tell him what I'm doing with myself, he never seems to quite understand what it is that I'm up to. He seems a lot happier when I just tell him that it's going well, and so I leave it at that. Still, though, we seem to have this silent agreement that of the three kids, I am probably the most like him. I don't really understand it, but for some reason I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to.